Welcome back. Our hands are little tattletales. They tell every stranger on the street our age, usually a secret hidden away in our passports and driver's licenses. But before you go and disown them, remember they've done the dirty work for you all of your life and typically don't receive the same amount of attention as you allot to your face. So here with some tips on how to lessen the age problem and let us know what's hot and what's not when it comes to nail polish is Jen Goldstein, the executive beauty editor of Marie Claire magazine. Jen, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So hands. Yes. They can be a real problem. I know. Some women worry that they give away their age. I don't think that's the case at all. And if you have great colors and you wear them in appropriate places, you're going to look great. So so that's the key, the appropriate color for the appropriate places. I think it is. You don't want to be wearing green glitter to a formal affair. I mean, that's just not the way to go. You Unless you're 12. There. If you're 12, that's fine. That's true. But for either of us, I think we should stay away from the green glitter. Does the hue of the skin have anything to do with the nail colors that you should pick? Sure. If you have like olive skin, you wouldn't want to do a green tone. And if you have golden skin, you wouldn't want to do a yellow tone. You sort of want to go for something with contrast. Like classic red, you can't go wrong with. Pretty much everybody looks good in that type of color. Excellent. Well, you say that certain nail polishes should be used in certain places, and you yes. brought something to show us here. I did. So let's start from here, and you tell me what we're looking at. Well, this is some of the colors that I would say would be best for going to work. So these are shimmery neutrals, and the reason I like them for work is that the shimmer particles, like mica, they actually help polishes adhere to your nails more. So if you have a job where you're typing a lot, washing your hands a lot, so you're a nurse or something like that, a shimmery neutral is going to stay all week long. So they chip less. They chip less. What about with weak nails? With weak nails, same thing. If you wear a base coat, you're going to be fine. These will stay on longer than, say, like a cream color that doesn't have any shimmer particles. That's the secret I didn't know because yeah. my nail polish, even though I cut my nails short because they're weak, I cut them short, but they still chip. And the secret is the mica. Yeah, think about if you ever tried a glitter nail polish and it's really hard to get off when you're ready to change the color. These are smaller particles of glitter, so they're going to adhere to your nail. Well, that's an excellent tip. And the next group here is reds. I'm calling this our date night out. Okay. Maybe with your husband or maybe you're out with the ladies <laughs> looking for a man. Um, studies have actually shown that the color red attracts men. So I brought some red polishes here for, for your viewers. I feel like these are the kind of colors that are going to get you noticed and they're not scary like a green <laughs> glitter aqua so men can understand this not men repelling shades well who knew that red attracted men i would yes. think it would mean stop yes you're good in this dress it would be perfect so <laughs> the next um, over here, I brought some colors for a formal affair, black tie affair, a wedding, a charity gala. These are sort of the new neutrals. I think everybody used to think neutral meant a nude nail polish. Right. I've got a gray here, a navy, uh, a deep pewter kind of color. They look really good with formal wear, and they let your jewelry pop. So if you have silver or gold on, it's really going to look good next to these types of colors. All right, because it kind of blends in with the dress and the black tie. Exactly. Excellent. Next. These are the kind of colors I would say would be good for vacation. But it's not just the color that's good, it's the formula. These are gel polishes. Not the kind of gels that you'd get at the salon where you have to sit under the UV lamp. Uh, thank goodness, because I always thought that that damaged the skin on the well, hands. Well, it's UV light, just it's like UV from the light. sun. So yeah. it's, it has the same damaging effect. These types of gels, you do not need to cure in a UV lamp. Okay. They cure with ambient light, so you're going to get that gel effect, which means they're going to last longer, which is great when you're on vacation. So. Okay. We have this one from Dior, Nail Zinc, and this is a new one from Sally Hansen that you actually need to put the top coat on to get that curing effect. But again, you don't need a lamp. Well, and truthfully, who wants to be in the nail chair when you're on vacation? Totally. And these will last you all the way through if you're going to the beach. You ever notice how sunscreen sometimes mats out your nail color? Yes, it eats it up. Yeah, these stay shiny even with that sunscreen because they have a, a gel polymer inside of them. Very cool. And the last group. This I'm calling our fun section. I know I said no green glitter, but maybe sometimes. <laughs> These are like a weekend kind of colors. Um, these are the new top coats that you can do. This one is holographic. We have one that's duochrome. And this one sort of looks like street art when you put it on your nails. What does holographic mean? Holographic is like it reflects light, opalescent particles inside. Okay. Sort of like jewelry for your nails. Beautiful. Maybe not for work, but they're fun for the weekends. You're also prepared to talk about healthier nail polishes because this is a question I get from my viewers all the time. Can you talk about healthier nail polishes that maybe don't have formaldehyde or the top three to five chemicals that most nail sure. polishes have? All of the polishes here actually are what we call three free. They don't have the formaldehyde, DBP, or toluene, which is another chemical that can cause irritation for some people. 
And a lot of these polishes are actually five free, so they have none of the, um, the uh, chemicals that might cause irritation or allergies. Um, I also brought one, this Mineral Fusion polish right That's here. That's the one I use. Actually. You do? Yes. Okay, this is one of the most natural polishes there are, sold at Whole Foods and things like that. They don't use any synthetic colors, they only use natural minerals to get the colors that they have. So you might not be able to get the green glitter from this brand particularly, right. but you know you're not going to be getting any of the chemicals. Right, so you have to give up the glitter for them to be healthier. But it's still a pretty color. And this is actually from Sephora. This is a remover. Uh, apparently Sephora has a section of nail polishes and, and removers that are the five free. Yes. Um, so the nail polish remover, for me, the chemical you really want to look out for is acetone. Acetone can be drying. It's unhealthy if you inhale it. Um, and if you have a gel manicure from the salon, you need acetone to remove it. These, gel, these type of gels, though, you could remove with something like this from Sephora, which is free of formaldehyde, phthalates, all those things that you don't really, you don't want to be breathing in. Uh, I can't imagine that there were so many different nail polishes for so many different things. Thank you for coming on and explaining it to me as well as to my viewers. Sure, thanks for having